What's better than six rounds of 357 Magnum? Eight rounds of 357 Magnum. The Kunin 357 Magnum Automatic 1911. It cycled perfectly, which is unusual for these. Very excited to have this though. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Jason with Hunt in God's Country, and this is the Kunin 357 Magnum Automatic. So it's the best of both worlds, right? You've got the legendary power, the hard hitting 357 Magnum, and it was made into a 1911 model. This was uh, designed by Dan Kunin, back in the 70s. I don't remember the exact year, but uh, I'm thinking it was 74, 75, around the time I was born, actually. Uh, they made this for um, about 20 years. In the late 90s, they actually went out of business. And in 2009, I believe it was, they resurrected this model. And this one here, if you look at your serial numbers, this one is an A. So this was one of the first models that, that they had. They took the A model and then made some improvements and came out with a B model. And then the newest ones from 2009 to 2019, before they went out of business again, uh, is the C model. Well, let's give this thing a whirl. Let's see what kind of accuracy we've got out of the Kunin 1911 357 Magnum. I love the sound of a 357 mag. How sweet. Let's go check out what we did. Let's see what kind of group we got. Yeah, that's not that's not too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a pretty good group. I was shooting at 15 yards. So about 45 feet. I guess all things considered, that's not too bad. Most of the inaccuracy there is probably me, but I'd say it's a pretty good shooter. I like that group. I'm happy with that. It's probably good enough to hit a cinder block. The nice thing with this, the, the this Kunin 1911 being a semi-auto, the way it acts, there's a lot of reduced felt recoil with it. So it's a pretty smooth shooter and my hand and wrist don't hurt from shooting it like they do a lot of times shooting the revolver. So uh, really nice, really nice feeling to it. Uh, Kunin 357 mag, automatic. Absolutely love it. It's a nice model. So this is an A model. This is one of the originals. There are, are some things about it that are challenging. Uh, one of which is the magazines. These magazines are not cheap. Around 300 to $350 a piece for one of these magazines. Uh, custom design magazine just for this platform because a 357 Magnum, as you all know, is a rimmed cartridge. Most semi-automatic handguns have rimless cartridges. And so this was designed specifically for the rimmed 357 Magnum, which made it challenging to get them uh, to cycle properly through these magazines. I don't know how well you can see, these magazines are, are very interestingly built. You've got a huge follower spring down here. The follower itself has quite a pitch on it in order to keep the nose of the bullet up uh, while those rims stack up. So if you can see here, the gap's changing. And as you as you come up from the bottom, you've got quite a pitch on that lower on that lower bullet. And once you get to the top, it's kind of flattened out. So quite a change there in the pitch of the bullet. And that was a very specific design uh, just for this magazine in order to make them function. Now do they function? They do, as you just saw. I just went through a whole magazine and it actually cycled perfectly. I was anticipating some malfunction there and it didn't happen. Uh, typically it does, but uh, that one seemed to work really well. As I said, these are rare, rare uh, and expensive and 
honestly, they're not the greatest magazines, but. Let's see what some 357 will do to some cinder block chunks. Hit a jam on the last one. I missed it again. That was fun. 357 is pretty mean out of cinder block. Let's go check it out. I missed this one twice. Or I made it move. I'm not sure. I think you hit blow on one. Oh. I didn't shoot at that one. Because I wasn't really sure about it with this big groove in here. And this thing's like... An inch and a half thick. I suppose I still could. I could try it. We got eight more rounds. I still have some stuff here I can shoot at. Okay, that gives us eight more. Hi. It gives us eight more targets. So let's give it another whirl. to finish with a bang. That was fun. You know what else is fun? Subscribing to Hunting God's Country. Ultimately, I love this. I love the idea of having a 357 Magnum cartridge. Uh, just that hard hitting, legendary power of the 357 Magnum, which, as most of you know, is one of my absolute favorite. Uh, and, and putting that into a 1911 platform, which is another of, well, gosh, I think every single gun I own is my favorite, honestly. But. You know, putting that into a into a 1911 model uh, is just an absolute brilliant idea. However, it apparently wasn't the most brilliant idea with the rest of America and the rest of the world because they went out of business twice. So, uh, you know, having a having a handgun, a sidearm that you're going to carry for anything protection-wise, you want it to be confident and and. Uh, uh, reliable trustworthy and if it's going to malfunction that's probably not great for your uh confidence and in, in uh, reliability factor of the gun so uh although this one is shooting well right now it's clean uh wow 
and it has a very stiff spring in it. Actually comes with another spring for shooting 38 special. Uh, so, you know, having the reduced recoil in the three in the 38 uh, allows you to uh, to change the spring in here. But this one shooting 357 Magnum, these are 158 grain jacketed soft points is what we're shooting today. And they cycled really well. So really happy that really happy that it's working well, but uh, just an awesome gun, really. Uh, love it, love the idea behind it, and I really enjoy shooting it. It's a lot of fun. Has these Trigicon uh, radium sights on it. Er, not radium, iridium. Has Trigicon iridium sights on it. So as iridium decays, it actually gets brighter. So you've got uh, essentially night sights. You can leave this thing in the dark and uh, and those little iridium uh, sights on there will actually continue to glow. So super sweet though. Beautiful wood grips, stainless gun, really sexy. Apple claims that their iPhone is the safest one or the most secure one, I believe is how they say it, on the market. So let's put that to the test and see how true it is. Darn secure. <laughs> Let's try again. Uh, I think it turned to dust. I got it that time. Thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate and love all of you. Like and subscribe. Comment on this video. Let me know what you think of the Kunin. 1911 357 Magnum. As always, shoot straight, keep the fire going. Wow. Uh, shot, Jason. Uh, oh, look at that. Oh, messed it up. <laughs> look at that exit. That is impressive. Oh, there's the bullet. Really? Uh, oh, nope. Wow. That's from something else. Oh, sorry, iPhone. You lose this round.